Welcome back. Fourth of July is one of the most lively weekends of the summer from backyard parties to packed beaches and pools and all those firework displays. This weekend will be full of family fun, but it's also one of the biggest weekends of the year for accidents and emergency room visits. So how can you make sure your family safely enjoys this patriotic holiday? Right now we're joined by Jay Bonafidi from the Buffalo chapter of the Red Cross, also decked out in your patriotic red, looking very nice. This well, morning. you know, it's easy when you work for the Red Cross to have the red clothing. Absolutely. So, yes. Absolutely. Right. But you have some great tips for us. Starting off with swimming, we touched on this a little bit yesterday with our doctor from UBP at Pediatrics. But again, just remind everyone what parents should know about being around the pools and the ponds. The biggest thing for parents is to make sure that children are supervised all the time, to know what they're doing, to know that they know how to swim already before you're putting them in, and to, and to, to be paying attention to them because it really, drowning can happen very quickly. So you're going to want to pay attention all the time. And if you are in a natural body of water and someone is drowning, the other thing is to try to, to stay or throw, don't go, is what we say. You don't want to go in and make it worse, especially if there's a rip current or okay. something like that. That's a good thing to remember. Stay or throw, don't go. Correct. Okay. A lot of people will be going on their cars. This is a huge weekend for uh, our roadways. What are some highway safety tips? Well, they're, they're the same kind of things you're going to want to do anytime you're on the road. You're going to want to stay away from texting, of course, while you're driving. Um, follow all the safety rules, and of course, don't drink or drive. This is a or don't drink and drive. This is a big. Um, celebration weekend, but you're going to want to be safe on the roads. There's going to be a ton of cars out there this week. Very important reminders. That's right. Uh, Fourth of July, of course, is not really Fourth of July without the fireworks. There's, of course, lots of lots of displays, but each and every year, people are setting them off in their own homes, um, in their own neighborhoods. What can you? What well, people be mindful. Well, of? the first thing is the reminder that it is illegal to purchase fireworks in New York State for sure, but um, they are very dangerous. They're explosives, so you're going to want to. If you do have them, if you are going to use them, you have to be exceedingly safe but again the best thing to do would be to go to one of the professional displays go to the bison's tonight or go to one of the other there's dozens of of professional fireworks displays and I, I would uh, recommend leaving the uh, leaving the fireworks to the professionals. That's absolutely right. Leave them to the professionals. The best thing about the uh, 4th of July falling on a Friday is we get fireworks. There's some displays tonight, some Friday, some Saturday, I think some even Sunday. I'm sure, yeah, they're going to be all over so I would definitely recommend that. Ample, so. ample opportunity. A, a lot of people are going to be over that hot grill over the next couple of days too and there's a lot of grilling injuries that can happen. Absolutely, you know, you're around an, an open flame so keep kids and you know, we've got a lot of dogs here in the studio today. Make sure your pets are away from the grill too if somebody knocks that over that becomes a huge fire hazard um, and and you spoke of heat I don't think we're gonna be quite as hot this weekend as we have been but um, you're gonna want to make sure you stay hydrated all weekend too. Um, plenty of water obviously alcohol is gonna be a part of the weekend I'm sure but alcohol can be dehydrating so you're gonna want to make sure that you you have plenty of water around as well. And just some general fire safety tips. I know earlier in the week you were trying to get the word out. There's been a lot of house fires lately. Yeah, there have been. Unfortunately, I, I believe we just had our 21st in our 17 county region, the 21st fire related death, mm -hmm. um, I think happened just yesterday. Someone passed away after a fire last week. So just um, be safe. Um, take the time to prepare to make sure your family has a plan for how to get out of the house and that everybody knows it and that it's practiced, I think is one of the biggest things. And another announcement you had this week first before as we wrap up this segment, you have the total that you raised at the bash this year. Yeah, you, you guys really helped us promote it. I know you were there. Um, we raised over $300,000 this year with the bash, which um, we can't thank the sponsors and all the over 4,000 people that came out and had a great time and, enough for helping us. And that funding all goes to local programs, including those Red Cross volunteers that respond to those fires. Absolutely. That's important funding there. Absolutely. All right, thanks so much for coming and happy 4th of July to you and your thank family. Thank you very and much. Red Cross family as well. Well, 